Hi, Leo. This is a general sign, a general reading for the sign of Leo. If you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Leo, thank you very much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and especially your comments. I think that the comment section is a wonderful way to put out good positive energy into the universe. What we put out is what we receive. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Leo. Leo, if this is your first time tuning into the channel for a reading, do know when I operate these readings or how my readings work is we really do spend a lot of time um, looking or focusing on you, the energy that surrounds you, the energy that you are experiencing or that is coming into your life. I do believe when we better understand the energy um, that is surrounding us or that is coming into our lives, the better we are able to manage and negotiate to create the life that we would like to create and the basis, the foundation of this reading is the Ten of Wands, the ending, an ending, the ending of pain, the ending of suffering, the end of something that has been unpleasant, unhappy, and that is driven by the Three of Pentacles, the ending of a connection, the ending of a connection, a connection with a person, a connection with an organization, a connection with a group of people. Let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading here. Leo, we start off with the Seven of Swords. Someone sneaky, which may be why we're seeing that someone in your public life, someone in your business, in your work, in your career, someone Somebody sneaky, something underhanded, something deceptive is coming to an end. Something deceptive is coming to an end. Somebody has been wanting to mislead, somebody has been wanting to misguide, and that is coming for, to an end. And then we have a new beginning, making magic happen. The Empress card, the Ultimate Manifestation card, and the Star card. You are the star. You are the winner. You are coming on. You are coming out on top of this deceit. You are coming out the winner. You are ready to seal the deal and sign on the bottom line. You are understanding that life isn't about money. It's about moving forward. And it's about moving forward on your life's path. There's, this is going to be a happy ending that will feed your soul and not your wallet. And by feeding our soul and not our wallet, that is when we are able to manifest. I don't know who this person is or what they've tried to achieve or what they've tried to pull over 
on you or the organization or everyone for everyone involved i think that this is multiple people involved but they are not going to be successful you are going to make magic happen you have everything that you need and again this isn't about money it's about moving forward on your life's path. And because you are moving forward on your life's path, whatever this is, it's a happy ending for you. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. The Hierophant, which is another five. inner knowing, inner wisdom, higher education, inner learning, two of cups, friendships, business, partnerships, relationships, justice, law, order, karma. I believe, Leo, at this time, you are caught in between a rock and a hard space. You know, it's almost like you want to be independent, but you also want to maintain peace and harmony. And you can have both. There is a balance here that is going to require you to address fears and also taboos. Fear is often based from a place of false beliefs and a taboo is often the retention or often the result or uh, a taboo is a restriction that is placed on us by and social organization, um, you know, uh, uh, society, uh, family, uh, friends, uh, school, co-workers, but some kind of social networking often involves setting in place taboos, but there's if we look closer at a taboo, it's not really based in fact. It's based in belief, but there is a balance that you are seeking or wanting to find that is requiring you to look closer at what is driving Fears, what is driving decisions and really letting go of those fears and those taboos that are not fitting in to your, your uh, life's path into your energy. It, it, it's it's almost like you're wanting to break free of that, but you're afraid of the repercussions. But those repercussions are not based in fact. 
any time that we are not being true to ourselves and any time that we are not being true to our life's path, to our inner wisdom, to our inner knowledge, to what we know we are called to do, to what we know we are called to be, anytime we are not true to that, it is unhappiness and it is unpleasant. And the only way to get out of that unhappiness, the only way to get out of that unpleasantness, unpleasantness is to be true to ourselves. And I see you becoming true to yourself and putting an end to those fears and not paying mind to those tattoos and ta not paying mind to those taboos and being genuine to yourself. The universe will keep presenting opportunities for you to follow your life's path, to follow your inner voice, to follow your true calling. It will keep presenting that to you until you choose that path. And here we have wisdom knowledge there is strength there is wisdom in knowing in understanding what drives our fears there is a gift here for you for you to take advantage of there's happiness there's celebration there's that legacy of being true to yourself and following your life's passion, your heart's desires. You're ready to make things happen and you do have the energy. Look for the path and the path will reveal itself to you. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Leo. Thank you, Leo. You have a blessed week.